What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another third party Transformers action figure review on the Fans Hobby MB05 Fly Pro, aka Grotesque. I gotta give a big thanks to Fans Hobby and Big Bad Toy Store for making this review possible. So if you're trying to order this piece, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Now this is a test shot, so we're just getting a white box with this label right over here you can see some nice product shots of grotesque or fly pro and then on the side it says test shot sample for review just to make that very clear to you guys and then on the top there's not much going on and not much going on at the bottom at all so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's a look at fly pro aka grotesque out of the packaging with this flame effects and everything so that does come with the figure and I think that's very awesome I love having those types of flame effects and stuff with these guys I really like this wingspan over here and the color palette looks really good. I'm not incredibly familiar with the character, but I do think this monster mode does look awesome. And he does come with a fair amount of accessories, so let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll get a closer look at Fly Pro. Now, first off, I actually wanted to show the instruction booklet, which compared to some other third-party companies, I mean, this is actually really the best one. I really like this instruction booklet. Very thorough. Very well done. And once we get the final product, I'm sure it'll look even better. But yeah, this is just a uh, really good instruction booklet. Gotta commend them for that. So here are all the accessories that come with Fly Pro, and not all of them are actually for Fly Pro. Uh, we get these extra interchangeable faces and eyes right over here from Megatooth, which actually look pretty cool. Yeah, you can see the yellow face right over there, and then right over there. And tricky to see. Tricky to see. I'm leaving them in the bag because I don't have those figures. You can see the metallic eyes right over there. And then we get these extra fists for Phalong. Then we get these extra faces and head for Phalong as well. Again, I don't have that figure, so I'm just leaving them in the bag. But for Fly Pro, we get interchangeable faces right over here, and I will demonstrate that in a moment. And we also get this big old gun, which I really like a lot. This stores very well in both modes. You get him holding this very nicely, and I'll show that off later on in more detail, but I really like this. Very much appreciate the plastic quality for this figure overall, too. And then just to demonstrate how the gun ports onto the figure, you can see that we get this port right over here on the back, and just slides in ever so nicely right there. And yeah, that looks like actually pretty cool. And then we get these four flame effects. Now a little gripe of mine, well I have a couple of gripes about these. Uh, for the most part I do like them, um, but they're all exactly the same. You know, like There's no sculpting variation between any of them at all. There's All four of them are the exact same thing and you can see the ports are exactly the same. Uh, you can detach them right over here, which makes it easier for applying it onto the figure, but uh, I gotta say, it's a little bit of a bummer that this port right over here does not fit into the barrel of the gun. That, that would have been a really nice touch to be able to do that, so that just kind of flops down there, and you can't really have it poured in like that, so it would have been cool to have that function, but you can get these stored into the face of Fly Pro, and then to port this into the throat, you just want to weave in through here sideways, and then you can see how that just ports right in like that, and I think that actually looks pretty awesome, I'm very stoked about that. And then removing this flame effect, I actually recommend taking this off first, and then, you know, just kind of wedge this out a little bit, and then scooch it out from the side, because you don't want to ruin this beautiful vac metal right here. I absolutely love this. I actually thought this was real metal at first, it looks that good, but it's actually plastic, right? So it has that hollow sound, but yeah, look at that head sculpt. Very, very well done. I loved all these etched out details in the plastic right here. That great metallic blue looks really good. I like how the paint apps were applied. They look very clean. I like that. Again, I love the back metal. Very nice looking head sculpt. Yeah. I like that a lot. Just for a comparison uh, to G1 Grotesque, uh, you can see a little comparison right over there, or if you want to compare like that. So that's the G1 right there. But anyway, going back to the figure, uh, I really like how the neck came out right here. It's really good. Now uh, the wings are kind of blocking the light, but yeah. Very nice paint apps. I really like these sculpted little spikes right over here at the top. I really like how the neck looks. I did remove his head just a moment ago, but you're just looking at the arms. We got some very nice bright pink over here. 
And we have this magenta right over there for the claws. And then looking at the torso, which is fairly similar to, uh, or it's basically the same part of the robot mode. Same thing with the arms right over here. And then looking right over here on the side, I really like how this looks, in the, and I like how this panels together, or comes, you know, makes a nice solid back for the figure too. That's very cool. I dig that a lot. Very nice looking tail. Yeah, I'm digging this man. Very nice bulky figure. And here's the legs. Got some nice blue paint apps right there. A little gripe of mine is this little piece did come out, you know, to hide the screws. It's not a huge complaint, but yeah, that's, you know, this is a test shot, but that's, you know, a recommendation of mine. Maybe a little bit more glue or something like that right there. It just popped out on only the one side. But yeah, we get some die cast right here. I like that a lot. Uh, this is plastic, but this is the die cast. So I love having the die cast metal on the figures. Very cool. And then the wings, man. I really love the wings on this guy. Very nice looking giant bat or dragon wings anyway. Very cool looking. Yeah, and then looking on the back side of them. Another thing I thought about too, which would have been kind of neat, but kind of doesn't make sense, is if we could have gotten these to port into these guys right over here. I think that would have been pretty cool, or at least this piece. But it's just not deep enough for it to hold anything, and the shape doesn't really match. So, yeah, that would have been cool to have that, right? I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But still, very, very nice wingspan over here. I do like it a lot does look awesome. Now we get a good amount of articulation on this guy. Uh, you could swing the head up like this if you wanted to, just due to transformation, but you can see the robot mode head sticking out from underneath. So without that happening, and it will tab in there all the way, it just comes loose if you lift it up, you know, put too much force lifting up the neck. So yeah, you could hear it tab in there. Uh, but without lifting that up, uh, you cannot move that at all, but you can rotate the head side to side right over here, and you can pivot like that and move it up and down without untabbing it. So you get that much movement over there on the head, and you also get jaw articulation as you saw earlier. Uh, the shoulders can move up and down like so, and you can move them outward, so I like that a lot. And he does bend at the elbow, and you can move each of these little fingers up and down. So you can and tuck them all the way in if you wanted to do that and you can swivel them just a little bit but not too much at all and he also has a waist swivel right here which I like and then he has some decent leg articulation where you can move the legs forward and back very thick ratchety joints you can bend them at the knee right there and you can pivot side to side at the knee and then his feet will move all the way down and you can move this up if you want to that's also due to transformation and then no real tail articulation and then for the wings you could rotate the wings all the way around like so and then you can also hinge them forward and back and they hinge right over here backwards they don't move forward over here but on this top hinge they will move forward and back just a little bit now to get some measurements on fly pro to measure out the wingspan you can see that it's at a about 15 inches across, it's a pretty good wingspan. And then measuring him from nose to tail, uh, you're looking at about 12 inches, and then measuring the height, you know, with him squatting over like that, he's at about six and a half to seven inches tall. And for a couple of quick size comparisons, we have Fly Pro next to the Transformers Age of Extinction Grimlock, and then here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. All right, now let's move on to the transformation. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? All right, and I gotta say I really do like the transformation is fairly easy with this figure So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the arms right over here You just want to lift this panel up like so and then you can just rotate the hand and then Swivel the hand upward like that and then move it downward and then you want to shift the claw uh, Back like that so it's out of the way and then same thing on this side lift this up Turn this around and then turn that around close that and then this will slide down like so. And you can actually get it slide down even further. Come on, slide down. I just did it on the other side. There it goes. Very cool. All right. And then we have the leg section, which is really the majority of the transformation. I mean, it's really mostly in the leg. So I'm moving these die cast pieces upward right here. And then these are going to move back. And then there goes that little panel piece that I put in there earlier. And then you want to take these panels and flip this around and you're going to basically split the tail and this is going to form the legs and then I'm going to get this out of the way and you want to move this up right here and then swing this around and it gets a little finicky and we can shut that closed right there. This whole piece is going to swing out. Well, I've got to leave the tail out of the way 
and it's going to swing out like this and then I'm going to move that in side right there and then that'll form the foot and then we can close that up right there and then move the claws up like that all right and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side it looks like a mess right now I know I know be patient with me man be patient bro okay so uh, again I'm going to take this whole whole piece and it's again it, it works better if you move this outward you want to make sure this is out of the way and then swing that all the way down then move that out of the way once again and then pull this out and shift this inward move that forward close this up and move that up and then you're going to rotate the waist 180 degrees and have that facing forward and then now we have the bottom half of the figure and just move the arms down rotate them into position move that down rotate that into position we have the wings facing all the way outward pop this move that all the way back and then you take the wings and you're supposed to fold them in like so and there we have five pro in his robot mode and he looks awesome man what a beautiful looking piece i really like how bulky this guy is I'm not bothered at all by the dinosaur or the monster head sculpt right there on the very back that's totally fine with me i do think he may look better with the wings sprawled all the way out though I, I do feel like the wings look a little on the small side but i feel like this still looks very cool the way it is right over here i really dig this a lot so let's get a closer look so here's looking at the head sculpt and well it's one of the three face sculpts but it is the same head sculpt and i think it looks really good i really like the how the helmet looks on this guy yeah, it's kind of tricky to see with the white backdrop, but yeah, very nice details right here in the plastic. And I really like how the face looks right there. We get that metallic blue once again for the eyes. That's very awesome. And just to show uh, how to switch this out really quick, just pop the head off right over there. And you grab a small screwdriver and you just got to get into the back of the head and you just unscrew this right here. There we go. And then you can see the innards of his face. And then you just rip his face out right there, and then you take the eyes out, and they fall out pretty easy. Kind of got to poke them in the eye, and then there that goes. And then you just grab another face. Here he is looking all mean. And then you just take the eyes and port them in like so. And then you can just put this right back into the face, and put this back right so. And then screw the head right back together again. And then we have a brand new face sculpt right there. And that looks mean. Oh, I like that one a lot. That's very cool. I like that. I may keep him like this. I like that. But if you want to see how he looks with the smiley face, here he is with the smiley face. So that doesn't look too bad either. Going back to this one and looking at the rest of the figure, I do like how this torso looks a lot. That's very cool. We get some very nice clean deco right there with the white paint over the blue. I like how we have the baby blue over that aqua blue. Or is it more of like a royal blue, actually? but I do like the color palette of this figure. It does look pretty neat. Get some more nice clean deco right over here. So that's pretty sweet. There's no stickers or anything like that with this figure. You don't have to go through any of that mess or anything. So that's pretty cool. Hands look pretty sweet. I'm liking that. I really like the plastic quality, by the way. I just got to mention that again. I just really feel like this is a high quality piece. And then just to show how to port the gun into a hand, because you can see that there's this little slot right over there, right? And you get the piece that goes right into that and you could just fit right into the hand like so so it's pretty easy and you can get his trigger finger sticking out and everything so that is pretty cool i just want to show that off and then looking right over here at the waist and everything i do uh, i don't know i kind of have a problem with how much this sticks forward i feel like i want to shift the whole body upward it might actually do it maybe I missed that yeah he's not gonna shift forward or anything so yeah I didn't miss that but anyway looking at the legs right over here you do have the big tail piece right there on the side again some nice deco right over there and I like how this fills out very nicely you know it's a little on the empty side but not enough to bother me and I do like how the feet look and even on the inside of the tail piece right there doesn't look too bad and you know this doesn't look too bad how this covers things up over here so yeah I do like this robot mode it does look cool to me but again I don't know let me know what you think I feel like he looks a little cooler with the wingspan of his monster mode more so than the shorter wingspan you know I think that just looks a little bit cooler 
I don't know, yeah, I just feel like this is a more menacing look. I, I dig that. But after putting the wings back to how it's supposed to look, uh, going over the articulation, you can move the head uh, downward. He does not look up, but you can make him look down. He does have side-to-side -side movement and a little bit of head pivot. He does have butterfly joints at the shoulders, which I think is very cool, so those move in and out. And you can get the shoulders moving all the way outward right there, too, so that's very cool. And they will rotate around. You can't really do a full 360, though. Then you can move this piece out. So so it moves up and down right here, and then you can also get his arms moving all the way up like so, which is great. He has a swivel at the elbow, or at the bicep, sorry. Then he bends at the elbow, then he swivels right here at the wrist, and then he does have finger articulation, and you can bend these bottom three fingers inward, and then the index finger moves outward like that all by itself, and you can bend it. Uh, he does have one joint at the index finger as well, so that's very cool. Then he also has a waist swivel right there, and then he does have these panels that move up and down uh, around the crotch, and it kind of wobbles a little bit right there too. Get hip joints that move all the way outward. He can kick forward just that far. He will kick back all the way. He does have an upper thigh swivel. He has a single jointed knee that does not bend in that much. And then he does have these little pieces right over here that kind of shift around a little bit, which I like. That, that really helps a lot, I think. So it makes the leg move upward, can move it downward, or the foot move upward, the foot will move down. And you don't get real, so, uh, you can kind of move it side to side over here if you, if you start taking things apart, but really you're mostly getting an ankle pivot, which makes me very happy. Now to measure out the height of this figure, you can see that he is standing all the way up at around 10 inches tall. And then for a size comparison, here he is next to the TR. You Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And then here's Fly Pro next to the Transformers The Last Night Optimus Prime. And then here he is once again next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider Man. Yeah, so I gotta say, this is a very cool figure. Very well done by Fans Hobby. I think they did a great job on this piece. I do have my complaints, and this is, again, just a test shot right over here. So uh, the number one thing I'm hoping is that they change the size of these ports over here so that they can fit into the gun. You know what I mean? The, the, that's the number one gripe I have with this figure, but I do think it is pretty awesome. I would like to get my hands on the Fei Long figure at some point. That one looks pretty awesome as well. But I hope you guys thought this review was awesome. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the figure. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. And if you're subscribed and you haven't hit the notification bell, please go ahead and do so so you know immediately when the next Shardimus Prime video is posted and to just guarantee that my videos are showing up in your subscription box. And I gotta give a big thanks to all these awesome people for making it possible for me to put the time into making these videos. Thank you so much. Link in the description below if you want to join Team Shardimus. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it will be at shardimusprime.net soon. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. Shut, 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 shut,